Hi everybody, thanks for watching my knee replacement chronicles videos. I've gotten a ton of comments and questions about my recovery from knee replacement, how am I back to running, the different exercises and things that I'm doing, sort of what the recovery's been like and how it's been to get back to being an active person again. So since I've gotten so many of those questions and comments, I figured I would do a video to talk a little bit about it. I even did a Zoom call with a former rugby player in South Africa who specifically wanted to ask me some questions. So after that, I kind of figured, well, maybe it'd be useful to do this video for everybody as well. First off, let me say that I am not a medical professional at all, and I'm really just speaking to my personal experiences of recovering from having a total knee replacement surgery and the results that I've personally had. So I'm going to go through some of the questions that I've gotten, and again, if you have more questions, please feel free to list them in the comments, and I can do another video answering any of those specific questions. So, you know, one of the first things was, you know, what were the things that I tried prior to having this knee replacement surgery? Well, like I said, I had had three surgeries before that, an ACL and two meniscus surgeries. I had cortisone shots, I had PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma injections where they take your own blood out and then they spin it in a centrifuge and inject it into the site where you have the pain. In this case, it was my knee. And doing all of those things, I just couldn't, I just couldn't get to where I wanted to be. I couldn't, couldn't get to be pain-free or anything at all. So that's when I made the decision to have the knee replacement done. I've been an active athletic person for, uh, for a long time, playing sports in high school, running track, playing football, Later in life, playing a lot of beach volleyball, biking, weightlifting, doing everything that I can. I just really enjoy being outside and being active. And sort of as a result of all that, I tore an ACL probably 1991 um, as a walk-on at the University of Toledo for football. I later continued to kind of just tear cartilage because once you've had that first injury, you're always going to sort of do other little things to it. Another question that I'm getting specifically because I have this video up about uh, running after knee replacement was how long after I had the knee replacement done was I able to run again? Probably nine months is where I started trying to run again a little bit. So after eight months, one of my big goals was uh, to go snowboarding. I, I go once a year. I have friends that live in Switzerland, so I do a trip to visit them every year and do that snowboarding trip. So eight months after total knee replacement, I was on the slopes snowboarding in Switzerland with no problems, worries whatsoever. I do wear a big brace on my leg when I do that just for extra caution and extra safety because, again, I don't want to mess it up. But as far as running goes, it was about nine months where I started to run again. And it wasn't easy at all. It kind of felt like I was dragging a dead log you know, along with me as I, as I was running. And I, back in the day, I feel like I used to be pretty fast. And I think the first mile that I ran was a, an 11 minute mile. And I only did one mile, just very short one mile and back. And the way that then I started to build up my running is I did it by time. You know, I would run four minutes out, four minutes back. Do that for a couple of weeks. Then I would add 30 seconds to that. Run four and a half minutes out, run four and a half minutes back. Run five minutes out, run five minutes back. So you're slowly adding that more time. And as you're adding more time, you're adding more distance as well. So you're running a mile, and then a mile and a half, and then two miles, and then two and a half miles, and then up to three miles. And three miles is where I have stopped, and I'm not really going to go any more than that. I'm going to keep it around that. I might go a little farther just to be running about 30 minutes right now. I'm probably running eight and a half to nine minute mile pace, which for me is is slow. It feels slow, but I am I am getting older, so you know psychologically trying to uh, trying to rein all that in. But that's, you know, after nine months, really started running it. And it's a matter of being consistent once a week, just trying to do it once a week and, you know, build up to it. But in the meantime, you know, what did I, what did I, what I did was still continuing to work out, uh, rehab the knee, train, do specific exercises for balance and strengthening of it, which you can see a lot of those on the Knee Replacement Chronicles videos. I'll link them here and put them in the description so you can maybe refer back to those videos and see some of the exercises that I was doing to improve and build the strength back up and, and kind of, you know, get to the point that I, that I wanted to be. So I had the knee replacement. It's been about two and a half years now. It was middle of June 2018 when I had that done. And the results so far have been great. I am back to running again. I only run once a week just because I don't want to, you know, wear this knee out that's supposed to last me 
30 years and I don't want to have that additional pounding on it. And my doctor, you know, he did say, do not run ever. That was, you know, one of his big things. Never, never, never run. So I'm kind of disobeying doctor's orders a little bit, but running once a week, I'm not a big heavy guy and only maxing out at three miles. I don't think, you know, I'm going to do anything that's necessarily going to shave years and years and years off of that. And for me, it's something that I've always really enjoyed doing was running and just to be able to feel like I can do that again if I want to is important to me psychologically to just feel normal, I guess. Another question that I get is, what's my what's my range of motion on the knee and am I able to lift weights now? Well, the range of motion is great. I can actually get my heel almost all the way to my butt on uh, on the on the knee that had the knee replacement. I guess I could see if I could show that to you real quick. So this is the leg that had the knee replacement and I'm just just a little ways away from from that touching right there, whatever that is, an inch or two. And if I actually were to do some stretching and flexibility, I can get it so that it almost touches sort of when I'm when I'm warmed up. So the range of motion is great. I am lifting weights uh, with my legs. Again, I do a lot of balance stuff, a lot of body weight exercises, but I'm squatting and deadlifting. Not doing those heavy at all, but just doing those exercises because they're so good for your body and your overall strength and fitness. So I really probably won't go over 135 pounds on either of those exercises, but just do you know as many reps as I can to get uh, to get a good workout in for those particular things for those people that are you know really interested in can you can you lift? And you know one of the things that I talked to my surgeon about this is he said you know you can lift, you can squat and deadlift and do those kinds of things, but you know, it's those people that are doing that really heavy weight, throwing 300, 400 pounds on a deadlift or on a squat that could damage that, you know, that new knee. And uh, that's not something that I that I want to do. Especially at my age now, I'm really just doing it to stay, to stay healthy and to stay in good shape. Another question that I get is, you know, what kind of issues did I have after surgery or, you know, am I continuing still to have? And again, I cover a lot of that in these Knee Replacement Chronicles videos because I really go almost on a week by week basis over you know several months showing my recovery and the process of recovering from a knee replacement. So again, I'll link those in the description here and on the side and you can check those out. But to summarize it for you, the first couple of weeks were pure hell. It was some of the worst pain in my entire life and just absolute sheer misery and I do not ever ever want to go through that again but if you can get through that initial first two weeks get into that third week the fourth week the fifth week you do start to feel a little bit better now you know sleeping was really hard for several months it's hard to find a, a comfortable position to sleep um you know it was just a just a miserable not fun experience but once you get past i'd say you know week 12 13 14 you can really start to be more and more active that pain starts to subside i'm not a big pain pill guy so i really only tried to take my pain medication at night so that i could sleep and then a leave and ibuprofen and that kind of stuff to manage it that was me personally i've heard of some people you know in their 70s two days after knee replacement they're out washing the car or cutting the grass or something how i don't know maybe i'm just a a big sissy <laughs> and i can't handle the pain or i can't handle it i'm not as tough as some of these old dudes or something or or, or older ladies um but it all depends on your you know individual physiology and biology and how you recover from you know from that sort of thing one of the other questions again related to recovery for me you know what i really worry about more than the knee itself are soft tissue injuries so i kind of tweaked my calf, my Achilles a little bit running just a couple of days ago. Not too bad. It really isn't affecting me too much. But just because of the, you know, the muscles and the tissue and everything surrounding, and it wasn't even on the leg that I had the knee replacement done. It was on my other leg, which I think, you know, people are going to be prone to that because you overcompensate with your, your good leg or your good knee or your, or your muscles on the opposite side of your body for the injury that you had on the other side. So, you know, I worry more about the soft tissue stuff and muscle pulls and strains and back aches and that kind of stuff than I do necessarily the knee itself. The knee is in great shape. As long as you keep the muscles and everything strong around it and really continue to work on it, you should be should be good there. That's been my my personal experience.
Well, I hope answering some of these questions has helped you out. If you have any more questions, please feel free, put them in the comments, and I will gather those up and do another video to answer more questions that you might have on this. If you like this content, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, so you'll find out when I do post more videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you all are being healthy and happy and working hard on recovery from those injuries, because that's why I assume you're, you're watching this channel. Thanks.